Hello everybody, I am Baljit Dhaka from Pinnacle Coaching Center and today we will discuss very important chapter related to morphology of flowering plants. In this chapter we have already discussed root, stem, leaf and now we will discuss flower. In this part we have already covered two parts. This is third part and arrangement of flower on stem is called inflorescence. A flower is modified you can say what is flower? Flower is basically a modified suit and what is suit? There are there are two system. One is root system and second one is suit system. Suit apical meristem you can say apical means the toe part, meristem means growing tissue. Changes to flower meristem. This glow, you can say growing part or a top part or something like bud will change into flower, floral meristem. Uh, this will, this is the tissue. Internal do not elongate and the axis get condensed in that sense. Ap apex produces different kind of flower appendages laterally at successive nodes instead of leaves. Now, instead of leaves, apical will start producing appendages like <laughs> calyx, corolla, something like that, that will be produced. When a shoot tip transform into flower, it is always solitary. Shoot tip transform flower, it will be solitary, not in the group. Arrangement of flower on the floral axis is termed as inflorescence. Inflorescence. Let's see one uh, diagram so that we can understand that this terminology in a better way. See this diagram. This is acropetal order and this is basipetal order. Basipetal order and this is acropetal order. This is cymos inflorescence. Here the flower is at top and inside you will find like this. But in racemos inflorescence, you will find in acropetal succession the plant will grow like this here the growth is till here and in the side lateral part grow, grow, growth will be there but here the top will grow in acropetal order so this is the difference between racemos and cymos you will be better to understand with the this diagram let's see the definition of this depending on weather the apex gets converted into flower or continues to grow. Two major types of inflorescence are defined. One is racemos and other is cymos. This is important to remember also. In uh, many competitions, some questions are asked which is racemos. So racemos and cymos that we have seen in the diagram. In racemos type of inflorescence, the main axis continue to grow. Flowers are born laterally in an acropetal succession like this acropetal succession for will start growing and it will grow but in case of cymos type of uh, inflorescence the main axis this is main axis here the main axis is this terminate in a flower terminate in a flower but here the main axis will continue to grow hence is limited in growth the growth is limited as far as you can say the elongation is concerned flower are born in a biceptal order Flower will be born like this biceptal order, biceptal order instead of this acropetal succession, acropetal order. You see, let's see uh, the diagram of flower to understand in a better way of these all terminology that will come. See this diagram, this is very, very important. This is thalamus. This is thalamus. Let's see diagram. This is the diagram flaw and remember this so that when we discuss the different parts you will be able to remember recognize what we are discussing. The main male part is endosium. This is endosium. Let us see uh, this is pedicel. You can say this stalk like structure. This is pedicel and this is calyx the green part. Green part 
at the bottom of the flower is called calyx. You can say this diagram also to understand this is isolated diagram that this part is, has taken from here to here to make you understand in a better way. Calyx and this is corolla. Corolla. This are corolla. You can say these are sepal and these are petal. One part, one member is petal. One member is sepal. Sepal, petal. Group is corolla, group is calyx. And then male part, endosium. You will find like this. This is endosium. Anther, you can say the stamen. You will have to, uh, you must remember this stamen, anther. In anther, there will be polygrin and the entire portion of male reproductive part will be called endosium. And then gynecium. Here the gynecium is, you will find the ovary like this. So, <coughs> gynecium female part, endosium male part, corolla, calyx, pedicel. These are the part of the flower. Now let us discuss all this terminology now in detail. The flower is the reproductive unit in angiosperms. This is also important line. Questions are sometimes asked like this. Which is reproductive organ in flower or in um, plant? Answer is flower is the reproductive unit. Because here everything will happen as far as reproductive is concerned. That is why it is called a unit. Com what is unit? Unit is the complete process taken place. We will call it unit. It is meant for sexual reproduction. In flower, sexual reproduction takes place. As we have seen, vegetative propagation in stem also. But here, when the reproduction takes place like this, male and female zygote formation, then we will call sexual reproduction and that is, that happens in flower only. A typical flower has four different kind of holes arranged successively on the swollen end of the stalk or pedicel. What is pedicel? As we have seen in the diagram, pedicel is like this. This is the pedicel and also we can call it stalk. And then there will be thalamus on it, the green part that we have seen. Or receptacles, we can also call it receptacle. These are calyx. Corolla, endosium, and gynecium, just as we have seen in the diagram. Calyx and corolla are accessory organ. Accessory organ means that helps to or support for the reproduction purposes. While endosium and gynecium are reproductive organ, in fact, these are important word which is not reproductive organ. Question is asked like this. So these are endosium, male part, gynecium, female part, and these are helpful or you can provide support or structure to the flower. In some flower like lily, calyx and corolla are not distinct and termed as perianth. What is perianth? When calyx and corolla are not different, they are actually fused and that the flower is called perianth. When a flower has both endosium and gynecium, that flower will be called a bisexual flower, otherwise it will be unisexual. Flower having either only stamen or only carpel is unisexual. Stamen means male part related or carpel. Carpel means female part related. Stamen or carpel, if there is only one present as we have just discussed, it is unisexual otherwise bisexually both endosium and gynecium, both system are present. See this diagram also, this is important to understand where does, how the structure of this uh, uh, flower hypogynous. What is hypogynous? This is the diagram hypogynous. You can see the corolla and calyx will start, or you can stamen will start from the you can say the basal part. But in case of in case of B and C perigynous, this is calyx. But after you can see here the below the ovary, but here after you can see parallel after this part parallel of this uh, ovary then the stamen or you can say androsium will start to grow or this is corolla so you can say thalamus portion is quite lengthy but here uh, this is also in C part also B and C these are perigynous peri means just around it and hypo means lesser than ovary and then epigynous more 
ovary is entirely closed by this thalamus and after enclosing you can say the top part and uh, endosium or corolla will start to grow so this type of structure will call epigynous structure asymmetry what is symmetry the shape of flower whether it is actinomorphic you can say what is radial symmetry if the flower is like something like this flower you can cut this flower from any axis this is called radial axis and but for example flower is in somewhat lengthy structure instead of whole then you can divide the flower in left and right only two equal parts so if any axis the flower can be divided into two equal parts it is called radial symmetry and if it is divided and and or zygomorphic bilateral symmetry what is zygomorphic zygomorphic means from a, from only one axis the flower can be divided into two equal parts when a flower can be divided into two equal radial house in any radial plane passing through the center it is called actinomorphic so this word is important actinomorphic and this is zygomorphic and actinomorphic happens in mustard the thura chili when it can be divided into two similar house only in one particular vertical plane if the flower is somewhat like lengthy zygomorphic morphic we will call it zygomorphic that happens in pea gulmohar bean and cassia you have to remember this because nowadays question are asked in which kind of flower or in, in above uh, uh, from the below in which zygomorphic flower will uh, symmetry will take place so question will be asked like this a flower is asymmetric or you can say without any symmetry irregular flower will be there it cannot be divided to into equal house by any vertical axis not from any axis but from any vertical axis passing through the center an example is canna a flower may be trimerous tetrameres or pentameres when the flower appendages are in the multiple of 3 4 or 5 what are appendages appendages was the this was the you can say the calyx part basically basically calyx part and if the appendages are trimeres it may be 3 4 5 trimeres tetrameres pentameres depending on the flower flower with brackets reduced leaf found at the base of the pedicel are called brackets and those without brackets e brackets flower will call it based on the position of calyx corolla and endosium in respect of ovary on the thalamus as we have seen in the diagram flower are described as hypogynous you can say below the ovary perigynous and epigynous above the ovary in hypogynous flower gynoecium which is a female part ovary part you can say occupies the highest position while the other parts are situated below below it you can say this is the diagram that we have seen this is the diagram other parts are above it like this while ovary in which such flower said to be superior mustard china rose and brinjal are the example of uh, hypogynous and in gynoecium if the gynoecium is situated in the center and other parts of the flower are located on the rim of the thalamus almost at you can say at the same level then the flower will be called perigynous ovary hair is said to be half inferior an example is plum rose peach in epigynous flower margin of thalamus grows upward enclosing the ovary in that complete ovary is closed you can say the thalamus from the thalamus complete ovary ovary will be closed and stem and other part will grow like over it so other part of the flower rise above the ovary in case of epigynous hence the ovary is said to be inferior as in the flower of guava and cucumber are the example of epigynous and the ray of floret of sunflower is also the example of a, this epigynous now parts of flower which is very very important to learn as we have already discussed already, uh, already seen this diagram each flower normally has four flower whorl what is whorl whorl is this is complete structure is called whorl this is whorl whorl means the entire uh, portion calyx corolla and 
एंड्रोशियम एंड गाइनेशियम ऑल दिस पार्ट मेल पार्ट एंड्रोशियम फीमेल पार्ट गाइनेशियम एंड नाउ लेट अस डिस्कस वन बाय वन कैलिक्स कैलिक्स इज द आउटर मोस्ट होल ऑफ द फ्लावर एज वी हैव सीन दिस इज द ग्रीन पार्ट एंड द मेंबर आर कॉल्ड सेपल्स एंड इंडिविजुअल ओल a uh, group of sepal is called calyx that i hold already told you generally sepal are green in color leaf like and protect the flower in bud stage this is the role of calyx or you can say sepal uh, <coughs> sepals calyx may be gamosepalous gamo means united sepal means sepals are united and poly sepalous poly means free or you can say individual and sepalous sepals are free so this is the calyx two type uh, types are two then corolla corolla is composed of petals this is the beautiful part you can say petal are usually brightly colored to attract insect for pollination purpose of this is sometimes question as which part of the flower is attract is helpful in attraction of the insect for pollination answer is corolla the what is petal petal is the member of the uh, group and group is corolla like calyx corolla may be also free gamos petalous gamo petalous and if it is united it is called gamo petalous united shows you can say and uh, and if, if it is free then polypetalous poly means many shape and color of the corolla vary greatly in plants corolla may be tubular shape of the all these uh, beautiful petals will be tubular can be bell shaped funnel shaped or wheel shaped different kind of a shape are there and these shape are called or you can say arrangement of sepal or petal in flower bud this is called estivation mode of arrangement of sepal or petal in flower bud with respect to other member of the same whorl is known as estivation and let's see the example type of estivation or you can say in corolla this is valvet just touching valvet this is the diagram upper portion portion diagram this in this flower petals are edges of petals are just touching but in case of twisted this was valvet and this was twisted you can say alternative alternate twist just like alternative one above the other this as is below this page, uh, this as is of petal above the next but it is if it is random like this this can be like this if it can be both and both as of the petal below but it can also be one as above and one below and that we will call it imbricate imbricate flower and vexillary flower what is this this is inside and then after that it will be like this and after that this like so if it will be in this fashion in this style it will be called vexillary so and the process is called or you can say the arrangement is called estivation that is the part of the uh, that is the phenomena of a flower the main type of estivation are valvet twisted imbricate and vexillary that we have seen and let us understand this uh, estivation in a little bit more detail because the questions are asked on this pattern when sepal or petal in a whorl just touch one another that, that we have seen at the margin without overlapping as in calotropus is the example you must learn the example also and we will call it valvet if one margin of the appendage overlap that of next one and so on as in china rose lady finger in cotton we will call it twisted as we have seen in the diagram if the margin of sepal or petal overlap one another but not in particular direction randomly you can say example is case and gulmohar estivation is called imbricate where random structure was there in pea and bean flower there are five petals the largest overlap the two lateral petals which is which we call it wings which in turn overlap the two smallest interior petal which we call it the keel keel is the smallest interior petal that we have seen like this and after this and after this so this is keel and these are middle one wings and the outermost part is standard this type of estimation is known as vexillary or peplunis 
and then we will see let's discuss the male part these were the sport of the that we have discussed the sport organ of the plant but this is the actually reproductive organ of the plant and that is male reproductive organ endosium endosium is composed of stamen stamens stamen is stamen with which represent the male reproductive organ consist of star and filament and an anther you can say this is entire part is called stamen and this is stalk you can say filament and after filament this is anther and entire is called entire part is called <coughs> you can say the stamen stamen and in anther there will be pollen grain each anther usually bilobed bilobed means like this and each lobe has two chamber and there will be two chamber in each lobe and pollen sacs chamber are called pollen sac pollen sac means like this segments covering the pollen grains are produced in the pollen sacs in this sacs pollen grain will be produced sterile stamen and obviously when this these are pollen grains are not developed or developing on a particular stamen that particular uh, stamen will be called sterile sterile and technical term is staminode staminode stamens of flower may be united with other members such as petal or among themselves also means stamen and this is with united with may be sepal or petal when st uh, stamens are attached to the petal they are epipetalous in example is brinjal or epiphyllous when attached to the perianth as in the flower of lily perianth means thalamus outermost part green part is called perianth the stamen in a flower may either remain free polyandrous is the example poly means many androus means stamen main part you can say or may be united degree you can say gamma is the word related to the united and androus is related to the stamen the stamen may be united into one bunch or one bundle mono androus adelphus as in chain one or in two bundle then di adelphus as in p and into more than two bundle poly adelphus as in the citrus so these are the how uh, stamens is united with one two or three these there may be variation in the length of filaments within a flower as in saliva uh, salvia and mustard salvia and mustard you will see the different length of the filaments filament is the part of a flower filament is this part and anther is this and this is entire stamen this entire is stamen so you can say that we have discussed the male part now we will discuss in the next presentation female that is gynecium which is very very important and after gynecium seed fruit and seed we will discuss all these in the next presentation thank you very much for watching this presentation all the best